What's going on YouTube? Jeans here. Hope you guys are having a wonderful day today. We are back playing some Pokemon Sword and Shield, hopping onto that ranked double ladder, and ladies and gentlemen, we got ourselves a fun one for you guys today. Today, we have ourselves a Yvelta team alongside with Fluffy Beware. So if you guys are hyped, make sure you support the channel by smashing that like button and clicking that big red subscribe button. Seriously, it goes a long way. Thank you guys so much for the support that has been going out across this channel. But this team right here was actually sent in by one of my viewers, and I realized it was actually made by Spatial, and Spatial is another YouTuber who makes Pokemon content. So shout out to him. Link to his channel will be in the description below. But getting started here, we have Beware starting off in that top left corner with that Assault Vest and Fluffy ability, so he's going to be able to soak up some shots. He has Double Edge and Close Combat for his stab moves, Darkest Larry and EQ both for coverage. Right next to him is going to be our Life Orb mod with Rotom Lawnmower. I forget the form's name, but it's the Grass one. I just call him Rotom Lawnmower because he's legit a lawnmower. Levitate ability and Life Orb as its item, Leaf Storm and Thunderbolt both for stab. will it wisp to actually put a burn on and pester on physical attackers and protect as our final move. Middle left, we have Yavelta, our restricted mod with those safety goggles and Dark Aurora ability. Dark Pulse for stab, Oblivion Wing for stab, Heat Wave for our coverage move, and Protect as our final move. Right next to him, we have Swampert. I love this Pokemon so much. It's just such a cool Pokemon. It's water and ground typing, liquidation, high horsepower, ice punch, and Protect as its moveset. It also has that Citrus Berry as its item. So when we drop below half HP, we get a little bit back and we keep rolling into the battle. Bottom left corner is going to be our first support mod, and that is going to be Tornadus. We can set up Tailwind with him. We can taunt other support mods. We have Air Slash for stab and protect it as our final move. We have that Focus Sash so we don't get one tap, and Prankster ability to give us that first turn priority on most of our moves. Final Pokemon is going to be Clefairy with that Evo Light and Fire Guard. Such a great support mod. Helps protect our ally Pokemon and helps them stay in there a lot longer. We have Icy Wind to slow down the post Pokemon. Follow me to soak up some shots. Helping hand for damage boost and protect as our final move. Guys, if you want to try out the scene for yourself, rental code is at the bottom of the screen. But let's get after it. Let's hop onto that rank double ladder and try to get some wins with this Yvelta and Fluffy Beware team. First battle coming at you guys, and you guys already know the deal. Before we get into it, I want to go over the question of the day, and that is what is your top three favorite off meta Pokemon? Considering Beware is in my top three, I love this Pokemon. That's how I came up with question of the day. He's so cool, but I can't really think of two other ones. Hopefully during the videos or during the battles, I will actually think of it and get my answer to you guys. But for now, let me know your guys' answer in the comment section down below. We're going up against an Ice Rider Calyrex team alongside with Cresselia, Incineroar, Tapu Fini, and then that Sun combo with Torque 1 Venusaur. So that one's going to be tough. That's going to be annoying. I definitely want to try to get off Tailwind, try to get Speed Advantage rolling out here. Um... You have my boy Beware, who I want to bring. He's not too good. I'll, I'll let you guys know that right now. But he's a fun Pokemon to use. He's very off-meta. There's a lot of Pokemon that are a lot better than him. But, yeah, we're going to try to get ourselves a win in today's video with him. Uh, but we're leading the Tornadus. Who else should I go into from there? He might go in with Sun. And I don't really like if he goes in with Sun. Man, I might go in with the Yvelta at this point. I might lead the Yvelta. I kind of dig it. I kind of dig it. Definitely want to bring that Beware. And I'm thinking both times going to come in hot here. I do want, um, we might not even bring Beware, but I love Beware. But Beware is so cool. <laughs> yeah, all right, we're going to go in here. I kind of wanted that Swampert, but I was just like, it's either Swampert or Beware. And I want to show up Beware, so let's get him rolling out here. Win or lose, I just hope we have ourselves a fun video today. But by the time I'm recording this, we are one day away from the Pokemon Snap release. Cannot wait for that playthrough for you guys. Cannot wait to play it with you guys. And uh, have some fun with it. It's going to be tons of fun for me. Considering I've just been playing Pokemon Sword and Shield on the channel. So we're going to be able to alternate. Double battles aren't going anywhere. So don't you guys worry. But it's going to be a fun time. Hopefully you guys do tune in and show some love on those videos. Tornadus and Yvelta for me. Calyrex and Cresselia for him. Alright. Kind of scared. A little bit. A lot of bit. Not really. Actually yes I am scared. Calyrex is an absolute beast. So. And he can drop. He can drop a lot of ice on me. He can drop a lot of ice on me. We're going to Tailwind. We are going to give off a little Tailwind. I do not want to proc the policy. I kind of do want to proc the policy. Actually, I kind of do not. I kind of do, but then I kind of don't. I am going to. We're going to, we're going to get off this Max Darkness here. Because we also get a Defense Drop, right? Special Defense Drop. Even better. Even better! I'm going to Dynamax you about that. Even though he's not going to do that much damage. In Dynamax. I still want to get this one off. I still want to start dropping special defense. I still want to get after it. Definitely drop a Tailwind. And Cresselia? What is Cresselia going to do? Drop Helping Hands? How's he going to go? Cannot fake me out. So I'm definitely getting off a Tailwind. And I am definitely going to be able to get off a shot here. But uh, hopefully this thing's not Dynamaxing. That would be a lifesaver here. But obviously it is. Obviously it is. And I think we might get swept by a uh, 
by a Calyrex here. It sure is looking like it's setting up like that. I'm not even lying. <laughs> it is looking like that. It is looking like he's Dynamaxing. I'm rocking policy, and he is going to one tap me and get a chilling name boost. Let's just see what happens. Tailwind. Bang. We get an air for it. Get it, Yvelta. I wish we were uh, Life Orb or Weakness Policy on this one. Here's my Darkness. There was some damage. So we do out speed. I have to eat up a shot. Hopefully, he's Life Orb. Don't show me policy. We get a crit. Oh, that's lovely. Here's that special defense drop, which is even more lovely. And he's not policy. He's not policy. Go after Thunders or Tornadoes. Tornadoes. Yes. All right, so Tornadoes, we got up for Tailwind. Um, Buffett's going to take him out. And what is Cresselia doing? Um, Cresselia hasn't made a move yet. Cresselia, what are you doing, Concert? Okay, now I'm scared. Now I'm absolutely terrified. I should have talked to you. Should have talked to you. Now he has speed advantage all day long. And could get out my lovely little bear. Could get out my lovely little bear. And I think I might get out my lovely little bear. But where get on down here. Um I don't see him taking out my Yavelta in one shot. 402, I just don't see that happening. And who, who's faster? Or who is slower in this instance? Hopefully it's Yvelta, but it might not be. Let's see. 166. So, but where is going to go first? If I double up, I think... I think a Darkness should be able to take that out. It's Stab. He's minus one. We're going to go for Darkest Slayer over on the U. And I am going to drop another Max Darkness over onto the U. I'm going to roll out from here. I'm going to roll for him from here. Yeah, I switch. The ally switch, and I was thinking in my head, he might be rocking ally switch. Tough news. Hailstorm should come out here. Is that going after Yvelta? Yeah, Yvelta should be able to eat just fine. No, not just fine. Not just fine. Dark Slayer comes out here. But we're doing some work. But we're just getting after it. And here goes Max Darkness, which should be able to take out Cresselia. Okay, so that's gone. He has some chilly nade boost, dude. That Hailstorm is doing a ridiculous amount of damage. But he is thriving in this trick room, which I really don't like. So if he throws out someone fast. But where gets buffed it. Man, dude. We're taking some damage. Okay, Yvelta's still alive. He could predict the max guard, so I'm not gonna guard. I'm really not gonna guard. I just don't see there being a point in here. He's gonna throw out Incineroar, who's just gonna fake out the where. So I might actually guard here. See, so yeah, I'm probably not gonna guard. I'm going to Darkest Lariat right here, and I am going to drop a... By Flare, no. I think I just, uh... I think I just, uh, go here. Darkness again. I think it's going to be play. He's going to fake out my Beware. Yep. Beware gets faked out. Blop. And he's going to drop a Knuckle. Over on the Beware. Or... Yvelta. Yvelta, obviously. He's going to get that plus two attack. Ouch, man. Not looking good for your boy. Not looking good now. Smart play by him. He's gonna be able to roll out. Oh my, do I? I don't have any first turn priority. How many turns left in trick room? I think two. I think two, and this thing is on a heater. He's on a tear. Aware flinches. Cannot move. Buff is gonna trigger on everybody except for Calyrex. And Calyrex is going to be able to pick up another KO. Hmm. Plus one. He is plus one. I think my only way of actually like winning this one is going to be my beware eating and me protecting. I drop an EQ. I'm going to need my main man beware to actually take you out. I'm going to protect. I'm going to protect my Rotom. Hopefully he goes, I think he's dropping a Glacing Lance or whatever it's called. And a Flare Blitz into my Rotom. But we need Beware to eat up. But if he doesn't, he lost. So Beware, let's go. Fluffy up, buddy. Fluffy it up. I don't think he's eating this one up. Not a shot. Not a shot. This thing's too strong. Yeah, see? Yeah, yeah, I, I kind of knew that. I kind of saw that one coming. Then the Flare Blitz is rolling out on the other side. He's chilling a boosted, and this one's over with. 
It is over with. There's the Flare Blitz. Yep. Saw all this coming all day. Buffets are flying through. Left and right. And we're going to end up losing battle number one. Tough battle there. I kind of saw uh, this coming from the beginning. I was like, yeah, yo. Catalyx is going to be setting up here. This is going to be tough for us. Uh, I am going to stay in, though. I'm going to try to pick up KO onto this uh, onto this Calyrex. If we can. Probably not. He's just going to outspeed us because it's Trick Room. But, dude, if I would have realized that Cresselia usually runs Trick Room, I would have taunted that thing 100%. But it is what it is. They're a super effective shot. Road time goes down. We end up losing battle number, number one. But hopefully we can catch ourselves a win in battle number two and battle number three. Second battle coming at you guys. Looking for our first victory for today's video. He has a Galarian Moltres and Comfy combo alongside with Azumarill, Aloma Malwak, Porygon 2 for a... Uh, for a Trick Room and Rillaboom. I definitely want to go into Tornadus here. I can Taunt and Tailwind, and I definitely want Rotom here because it's two heavy hitters with the Zoom Rail and uh, Galarian Moltres are super effective to Electric. So we're definitely bringing in these two as the lead. Uh, next Pokemon, I, I'm thinking Yavelta is going to come in here. I'm thinking I want Yavelta, and then in the final spot, we go Beware. I'm digging it. I'm with it. Let's roll out here. Try to get ourselves a win here in battle number two. That first battle, and eh, we lost that one. He had how many Pokemon left? I think two. I think he ended up having two, but I knew going into today's video with this team that we were going to struggle. I just knew it because Beware is really not that good and this team doesn't seem like it's my play style at all. But I was just like, yo, let me show it off. Let me see if I can pick up a win with this Beware team. I really hope we can and show it off for you guys today. So he goes Porygon 2 and Gorilla Boom. So I can taunt. I mean, not really. He's going to fake me out, right? He's going to fake me out and set up a Trick Room. So I am not going to go into a Tailwind. I'm just going to go for a lovely little Taunt. And I am going to try to throw a Burn onto that, uh... Onto that, uh... Rillaboom. That's my plan. That's my plan. I think he's going to fake out and go for this Trick Room. I mean, if I get off this Burn onto that Rillaboom, that's a huge turn for us. It really is. Hopefully we don't miss it. I can see us totally missing it. And he's going to die. Oh, he's Dynamax and Rillaboom. So again, if we get off this burn here, I'm digging it. I am digging it. Oh, wait, wait, wait a minute. Hey, hey, what are you doing? Hey, what is this? What is he doing? <laughs> Dynamax and Porygon. I never seen this before. They got coming out here. Hey, yo, chill on me. And dude, we just wasted a first turn, man. Pawn's going to do absolutely nothing. Does nothing. I flinch. He's gonna take out my Rotom with a Hailstorm. Oh no, he's taking out my Tornadus. What is this? What is going on today? I just don't understand. We're reversing some craziness. It's absurd. This is absurd right here. That's exactly what it is. Dynamax and Porygon, and he's rolling out from there. This guy's crazy. This guy's nuts. He plays no games. Uh, we're going to bring out Yvelta? Yeah, we have to bring out Yvelta and Dynamax. And we do have our safety goggles on, which is lovely. So we're going to Dynamax Yvelta. I am going to Airstream over on the real boom slot. And I guess I will drop a Thunderbolt over onto him. Or no, let's go Leaf Storm. Try to do as much damage as I can. We're gonna go airstream, and we are gonna drop a leaf storm here. Get that stab damage, get the terrain boost, and a life orb boost. Try to do as much damage as we can to the Porygon, because I think this airstream should be able to take out the real boom, no problem. But let's just see, yo. This crazy duck. This duck. I was expecting, I was like, okay, he's going in the real boom. I'm fine with that. We'll taunt that. He Dynamax is Porygon too. Like, who does this? It's working well for him. I'll give him that. I'll give him that all day. Let's see what else. Let's see what else he's got up his sleeve. That threw me off so bad. I was like, yo, what is going on here? What is going on? But you're about to get Steinmax here. And and we should outspeed. Yes, we do outspeed. Airstream's gonna come through here. KO this Rillaboom for me. Thank you very much. Rillaboom's gone. Leaf Storm should come out here. Hit this thing decently hard. Right? Should hit this thing decently hard. With the terrain boost and everything. We are going to get our special attack drop and all that. But I think he's going to take him out of my Rotom anyway. But dude, look how bulky this thing is. For no reason. 
Look how bulky that thing is. Please just take out my Rotom. Get him out of here. Go for Rotom. Thank you. Okay. We'll get Rotom out of here. That's totally fine. I'm gonna get Beware out here. Now, now, now I'm angry. Now you, now you got me angry. What are we gonna do? Gets buffed by the hell. Dude, that thing is an absolute tank, bro. He's an absolute tank. I do have a soul vest on my Beware. We are super effective with close combat, but I don't want to drop close combat too soon. That's my thing. He's gonna throw out. Oh, dude, I thought he was throwing out Beware. I was like, where'd he get one of these things? He's gonna throw out Confi. Confi has Alice, which. Coffee can floral heal. We have to be like, we have to get after that thing. Uh, do I change up weather? Hmm. What do I want to do? Push the fence drop. I think we're fine on speed board. I think we're going to start needing some special defense drops. Drop EQs for free. I don't know. I think we have to start dropping close combats on this thing. I really don't want to drop our defense just yet. I'm just going to go for Darkest Lariat. That's my plan. That is my plan. Helping hand coming out here. Dude, why is Porygon so strong? Just don't understand. Dark is coming out here, so we are going to get a speed or a special defense drop. going to help us out a little bit. But he can just floral healing at any time. He might ally switch next turn. That's a tough call. I do wonder what he's going to do here. Here's my Darkest Lariat. I should have close combat. Close combat might have been able to pick up the K over there. Here goes Hailstorm. Probably on Yvelta now. Yep. Which I should be able to eat up fine. Why is this thing hitting so hard? Gets a crit. Ah, bruh. What you mean? Um. Do I see an ally switch coming in here? Or a floral healing? I know we outspeed these guys. Um, Porygon's not taunted anymore. Tough news. Of course, it's not taunted as it's as it comes out of Dynamax form. I am faster. Actually, you might drop a. You're gonna heal up. That's my question. I think I'm gonna go for an airstream over onto you. I'm gonna make sure this thing goes down with a close combat. I think that's my play. Don't ally switch. He's gonna floral heal. Alright. Let's get after this thing. Let's do him dirty. This might be able to take out Confi. Floral healing comes out here. And the grassy terrain is up, so he gets more HP from that. This might be able to take him out because he is minus one on special defense. Yep, okay, so Confi's gone. Yo, beware. Beware. Do it dirty. Critical hit, I think we were taking out regardless. There's a speed boost for us. Beware, I need you here. I need Beware to come up big here. We need a big KO from Beware, but I don't think he's happening. Close combat coming out here. This thing's a tank. Oh my lord. So close. So close yet so far. Can this thing miss? Can this thing miss this ice beam? We know it's going for an ice beam, right? Recover. You stink. That's how you play the game, man. Another close combat takes that out. And we have a speed advantage. We do have a speed advantage here. Who's his last Pokemon? That's my real question. But where? Let's go. Another close combat takes that out. So I, I, I'm just going to have Beware deal with that Porygon. I'm going to have my Yvelta go after whatever Pokemon there is here. It's going to be Moltres. It's going to be Galarian Moltres. All right. Come on, Jeans. You got this, baby. We got this. Like I said, we have speed. Could go for Dark Pulse. Could go for an Oblivion Wing. Dark Pulse can flinch. But I want some HP back, so I'm going to go here. Do we think Porygon's protecting? I can't play it like that. I can't play it like that. I don't think he might, he might not be rocking protect. So I'm just going to drop a close combat here. I don't want to make a hard read and end up losing the battle because of that. Oblivion Wind comes through. We're going to get a little bit of HP back here. Which is nice and lovely. And we do not uh, proc Berserk. So we get a little bit of HP back. And Beware should go next. Take out the Porygon. Yes. Good work, Beware. Good work, Beware. Your defense is low. But yo, I need you here. I need you right here, right now. I need both my Pokemon alive here. So you go for an Air Slash. Ah, Beware's dead. Beware's dead here. Eat it somehow, Beware. Nope, I knew Beware was dead there. Mm, this one's tough news. 
Hail stops. Dang it, dude. I, I was thriving with the hail. Hail stops and grass terrain should stop as well. Oh, no. Do we have to go for the flinch? I don't want to proc Berserk. <laughs> this is so tough. I think we have to go for Oblivion Wing. Get some HP back here. We are going to proc Berserk, man. The defense drops. Take us out. Yo, it's such a good battle, though. We need one more turn here. We need one more turn. And my boy Yavel to do it. Berserk is popping. We already know that. Did Berserk just win a minute? Eat it up, you belts. Or have this dude miss. Eat it up! Let's take some snack. Ooh, you belts, man. You belts. Let's go. End it. End it, you belts. I know I call him you belts and it's e belta, but still. You belt sounds a lot cooler. He protects. He protects, man. Doesn't matter. You're not outspeeding me. You're not outspeeding me. Go for it again. Should I protect this turn? <laughs> <laughs> Come on. Oblivion Wing for the win. Take him out. Take him out. Don't you dare low roll me, man. Let's go. There it is. MVP goes to Beware. You guys already know that. That Porygon was buzzing. Threw me off when he Dynamaxed it. I give him props. That thing di uh, dominated. But Beware came in, clutched up, and picked up the KOs for us. I'm very happy with how this video is going to turn out. We got ourselves a win with Beware. That's all I wanted. I just wanted one win. But this video can be even better if we win this battle here. But this one's looking tough. He has a Lapras team alongside with Venusaur, Comfy, Grimmsnarl, Xerneas, and Latias. Looking a little crazy. Looking a little hectic. I uh, can't go into Geomance, which is like, uh, okay, that kind of scares me. Um, I might go Tornadus. I think I have to bring Tornadus. I can tone up a lot of these Pokemon. He has no Sun user. He does have Hail. So I want to get some safety goggles rolling out here. Um, bum, bum, bum. Ooh, the machines want to go into. Definitely want Rotom. I think Rotom might get a lead here. Rotom might get the lead. We lead Rotom, or do we lead the one and only? Beware! I love this dude. I'm loving this guy right now. I think I'm gonna lead him. Let's yo, let's get him out here. Let's go, Rotom and Yabelta. I'm liking that. Clefairy and Swampert. We don't need you guys. I'm digging it. I'm digging it. I want Beware out here, dude. I'm having fun with him. I think that last battle was awesome. Oregon Dynamax, that threw me off so much. He was able to pick up two KOs on me with it. Luckily, Beware was able to come out there, drop a heavy close combat, do some big damage on it, and then be able to do it again, take that thing out. But then I was already minus on defense. So, obviously, an Air Slash was going to take us out. We were minus two on it. But Yveltz was able to clutch it up, eat up a shot, and roll from there. But what was uh, really clutch was the HP recovery. But Beware and Tornadus. He can taunt me, but I'm going to taunt him. You want to play games with me? I'll play games with you. I'll drop a Darkest Lair over onto you. Put some damage on. And Latias is such a cool Pokemon. He just looks like a jet. He looks so dope. But I'm trying to think of other off-meta Pokemon that I like. Like, Beware definitely top tier. Look how sick he looks. He looks so dope. Other off-meta Pokemon that I like. Oh, uh... I don't think he's even in, like... Doubles. He might be a meta Pokemon in singles, but not really. Uh, Gravantula? Well, Apple I do like. Oh, Appleton. I absolutely love Appleton. And I'm stupid. Why would I try taunting that? That one's on me, guys. Got lost. Got lost for a minute. He's going to Tailwind. Actually, that, I'm kind of fine with that. I'm going to set up a late screen. I'm going to be able to get a Dark Slayer out here. I'll be able to set up a Tailwind here. Put some nice damage. But where? Chill on them. Chill on them, but where? Let's get off the Tailwind now. He's going to taunt me now. Kind of scary. We might set up a reflect. If he sets up a reflect, he can be able to eat up the stick. Darkest Larry. But yo, Appleton. I love Appleton and Flapple. I think they're two very cool off meta Pokemon. I think I like Appleton a little bit better, but Flapple has uh just look cool. They're both cool. I think I like Appleton a little bit better though. Just because he's apple pie. Reflect pops here. That's totally fine. Uh can we take out Lottie Ass with this? It's gonna be kinda close. He recovers. Okay. I mean, I, I guess I'm cool with that. I guess I'm fine with you recovering. What are we doing with this target slayer? Because we're just teeing off with Beware, yo. He looks so sick when he uses that move, too. Just spinning around, teeing off. Um. I'm gonna air slash on the Grimmsnarl. Good job, free EQs. But this thing might recover again. I'm just gonna keep the pressure on this thing, keep teeing off on it. If it recovers again, next turn I'm gonna hit something else. Because right now, we're just wasting out of shrooms, which I, I really dig. I am digging. I still have my sash. I haven't taken one bit of damage. I'm with it. I am with it. 
Air slash coming through. Can we pick up a nice, lovely little flinch? That's what we're going for. Oh, I'm just going to recover again. This is what I do. I just recover all day. That's how I like to play Pokemon. If you're going to recover, go play singles. I'm getting real sick of it. <laughs> I used to, like, when I first started playing, I used to play singles, and then you realize how repetitive it is. Oh, we do get a flinch. We do get a flinch, and we showed that this thing is leftovers, but singles is just so repetitive. Like, you can win battles just by using Toxic Pack, getting Toxic off, substituting, and protecting the whole match, and just black sludging. Black Sludge, recover, recover, recover. Poison will eventually take him out. You're doing just fine. Uh, we're going to double up into him. EQ hits that thing? That thing's not flying? It has to be Rock and Levitate, I believe. Go for Double Edge, but... Uh, go for that. Uh, you know what? This thing can recover again. We're just going to keep We're just gonna keep doing what we're doing. I mean, I don't know what what he's wasting out here. But we'll cover next turn, so I'll, I'll read that. I'm gonna go for a psychic. Hey yo, chill on my fluffy beware. Jeez, man. Didn't I just say chill on my fluffy beware? Now you're gonna get it. Oh yeah, yeah. Get flinched again, buddy. Get flinched again. Now you're gonna get it. Now you're gonna get it. Don't mess with me like that. Their tailwind peters out. So now you're gonna get it. Now you're gonna get it. Messing with beware like that. Who does this guy think he is? Who does he think he is? Hitting my precious old beware like that. You have a giant cloud goddess over here. And you're going to hit a fluffy teddy bear before that? Out my face. Get out my face. I'm going to taunt you. That can actually taunt you. Actually, I outspeed you. You're not going to be able to get off that tail when you're dead. I'm an air slash. And I'm a max darkness. And I'm going to take you out. Now no tailwind for you. And I'm a tailwind next turn. Because my tailwind ends after this. And your screens are depleting. So how do you like them apples, man? How do you like them? Hit my teddy bear like that. This guy. This guy over here. Come on. Come on, Gene's Online Gaming Community. This guy. Who does he think he is? Hopefully he's a viewer. If you are a viewer, yo, I love you, man. Thanks for support. But <laughs> if not, go play some singles. <laughs> He's gonna swap. He's gonna do a lovely little swap. He's gonna swap into this hunk of junko. This hunk of junko. So we are gonna be able to Dynamax. We will have speed advantage here. Um, they're gonna get a special defense drop, which is which is lovely, which is nice and lovely. And we're just gonna try to force this thing off of a Geomance. I mean, I can taunt it. I can do a little little finger wag onto it. See how that rolls. But I don't know. I do not know. Light screen. Oh, light screen wore off? No, it didn't. Like, what are you doing? What, what, what was that? What, what, like, I'm confused. What was that? What was that about? I set up a light screen. Get out of my face. Max darkness. Doing a little bit of damage, but more importantly, getting that special defense drop. Getting that lovely special defense drop. But does this guy know he can just hit info and see how many turns is left in his light screen? Like, these are mashable to your battle. We were like 8,000 in Mass Bolt here. It was actually 8,000. After that last battle, it was 8,736 at the time I'm playing this. Do I taunt? It's a real question. I'm going to double up in the Zern. Or is Tailwind gone? Is Tailwind gone? I can actually hit info. It is gone. I don't think we're going to need Tailwind right now. I think we just Airstream and we Air Slash there. I don't think we're going to need Tailwind because I think Yvelta is going to be a lot faster. He's going to witch all the Grimstarl and he's going to get back out Latias. Latias, yeah. No comps is coming in here. He might protect it. He might guard this turn. Should be a smart cookie play. And then I'm just going to read the Alice, which will the floral healing after this. But he is Dynamax and we're doubling up. We're getting after him. We're getting after him. We're going to start taking speed advantage. I think I'm going to taunt that comp. I'm going to say, hey, comp, come here. On that bad boy up. And he does do a lovely little guard. So he's going to waste out turns here. Air slash, blah, blah, blah. Max air stream, blah, blah, blah. All blocked. So even turn. Even little turn. Oh, and your reflex are wearing off any screens. Oh, you love it. Love to see it. I'm going to taunt on the comfy. And I am just going to roll out with another speed uh, air stream. I get the speed boost. Will Taunt come out first? 
I'm gonna floral healing it. That's totally fine. So I can taunt this thing this turn. I'll have to get out of my face. It's only floral healing you're gonna get off, buddy. Better cherish it. You better cherish it, because I'm giving you the hands. I'm giving you the hands. And this thing's mental hard. You son of a biscuit. Here's Airstream. Bang, doing some nice damage. We are getting a lovely little speed boost. And do I predict the ally switch? Or do I taunt this thing? Let's play here. Because it's our fault. I'm scared. I don't want to watch. I don't want to watch. Alright, we do eat. We are going to be able to waste out all of his Dynamax turns. We don't even have a KO on this thing yet. This, does he have a KO on me? Yeah, he took out my precious bear. My precious bear, man. Uh, we do have speed. That tailwind for my other Pokemon. I think he's just gonna floral heal, right? I'm gonna go after him. Try to get some HP back here. Yep, he's just gonna floral heal. I'm gonna tailwind. I'm gonna get some HP back. Hopefully, he goes after Tornado so I can taunt next turn. I'm gonna start wasting out these turns. But how much damage can we do with this Oblivion? Dude? He is minus one. I know he's not. He's not minus one. It was the Grim Snarl. He's not minus one special defense. How much damage can he do here? He has some HP back. He might go after. No, he's probably gonna go after my Yvelta. Yvelta, however you want to pronounce it. There's another Starfall. There goes all of his Dynamax. I mean, mm, this one's gonna be tough. It's gonna be a tough win. I hate how Floral Healing comes out before my taunt. That Mental Herb was definitely clutch. But I think we have to do it again. We have to taunt this thing again if we want to. We want to have a shot here, but it's not looking good for us. It's not looking good for us. At my road time, he's really low on HP. 125. That's HP. It's kind of ugly. And I just drop a T bolt. T bolt over on Zern. Over on Zern. I, lo I love my little nicknames I have for some Pokemon like Zern and Yvelt. <laughs> Yvelt is one of my favorite, dude. It's awesome. Or like Tapu Coco, that's a good one. I, I say Cocoa Beans. I, I, feel, I have a few gems in my back pocket for nicknames. Don't worry, don't worry. The best is like all my, like in my friend group, we have a decent amount of uh, guys in there and we all have nicknames for it. Like obviously mine, mine is Jeans. That's, that's, that's a given, but we all have cool little nicknames for our friend group and I love it. Like everybody has a nickname. In the Helping Hand comes out and there's like, there's like 12 of us and like everybody has a nickname. It's just great. Someone's gonna come out here and say, hey, your herb is gone. I'm sick of it. Ebo comes out here, give me the paralyze. Where's KO? Are you kidding me? So he gets a free focus sash. What is this game? What is this? No! Yo, we could have won. We had a shot at this. If that thing didn't get a free focus sash, look at that thing. Yo, yeah, just let you guys know. Just let you guys know. Oh, of course, Giga Drain comes out here first. I was gonna say we don't get swept here, but we got swept. <laughs> Bro, that thing legit lived on one. We would have been thriving here. We would have been. We would have been going decently well. We could have had a decent game there, but now that I think about it, his coffee would have just took me out. But then I would took him out. It would have been two v one. Not bad for today's video. Went one and two with this team. I count that as a victory because all I wanted was one win with this Beware team. We actually almost ended up winning that last battle. I think we would have had a shot at it if that Xerneas didn't live on one HP. Like, it was legit on one HP. Got itself a free Focus Sash. Say that thing goes down. Dazzling never comes out. I have my Rotom and Tornadas versus his, uh, who was it? Grimstar and Latias, which I think... I think we could have did dirty work on that. I think we could have won that one and ended up going 2-1. But guys, that is going to be it for today's video. If you did enjoy the content, smash that like button for me. And if you're new here, click that big red subscribe button so you know when my videos go live. Seriously, you guys rock out. Make sure you spread some positivity day, and I'll catch you on the next one. Peace out, everybody.